If consciousness needs a brain, these two experiences should be possible. In 2003, Japanese scientist Hideyuki Takahashi placed plants in a controlled environment. The roots are completely separated from the source of water. But here's the strange part. The roots didn't grow randomly. They consistently curved toward the sides where the water was hidden, even when the path was even longer. Second experiment. Scientist Monica Gagliano tried something even simpler. They asked, can a plant learn? Young pea plant was placed in a white shaped maze. On one side, a light was set. Before the light, a fan was always on. Day after day, fan first, light second. Naturally, the plant grew toward light. Then the light was removed, but the fan remained. And the plant still grew toward the fan. They remembered the pattern. They adjusted their behavior. And you gotta remember, there were no nuance, no nervous system, no brains making any decisions at all. They still can sense, memorize and choose. So scientists start to question that are plants conscious at a level that we cannot understand yet? How do conscious like behaviors appear when there is no brains at all? This is where modern science starts to echo in ancient wisdom. Consciousness is not created by the brain and plants maybe are just simply turning to the field where instructions are pervasive.